in this video we are going to see about how to assess the anterior chamber's depth using pentarch. Let's see what is mean by anterior chamber. Anterior chamber is the aqueous humor filled space inside the eye between the iris and the corneas tendermost surface the endothelium. Let's see the procedure about how to assess the anterior chamber's depth using pentarch. At first ask the patient to look straight. Shine a pen torch into the patient's eye from the temporal canthus. The position of the torch should be exactly same as which is shown in the diagram. The torch light should not shine straightly into the patient's eye. The torch should not kept so near to the patient's eye and also the torch should not kept so far from the patient's eye. If the position of the torch is wrong means we may get inaccurate results. The position of the pen torch should lie in the same plane of the eye. In case of a deep anterior chamber, the iris lies flat and the whole iris will be illuminated. Look at the diagram A. Due to the deep anterior chamber, the light travels to these areas and the iris gets illuminated. In the case of a very shallow anterior chamber, the iris lies forward and blocking some of the light and very little of the iris is illuminated. This is known as eclipse sign. Based on the amount of eye illuminated, the anterior chamber depth can be graded. Grading of the anterior chamber depth using the pentarch method is explained in our next slide. In the grade 1, less than 1 by 3rd of the iris gets illuminated. In the grade 2, 1 by 3rd to 2 by 3rd of the iris gets illuminated. In the grade 3, greater than 2 by 3rd of the iris gets illuminated. And in the grade 4, we see we are seeing the fully illuminated iris. Grade 3 and 4 is recorded as normal. And grade 2 indicates the possible of angle closure. And the grade 1 indicates risk of angle closure. Hyperopic eyes usually have shallower AC and myopic eyes usually have deeper AC. I hope you guys understand the topic very well. If you like the content means like the video and for regular optometry updates subscribe our channel Optome to Z.